It started a year ago. They came blowing in, gliding around the bend, a big old rolling party in a 69 Cadillac DeVille, extravagant, carefree, happy. We made the conscious decision we were going to make the most out of life because we didn't know how many days left and if we could wait COVID out. I would get down on the dumps and he'd go, get out the Cadillac, get out the Cadillac, dress up, date, get in the car. They flowed into Blue Water Bistro in Leshai, where Bart Evans is the owner. When the full shutdown started, just we're driving around the lake looking for any restaurant open and just kind of stumbled upon our car hop service. And they kind of took that to a whole new level. Carmen Bader works there too. We don't know, we just got lucky. They picked us, they've stuck with us throughout the pandemic. They'd get champagne or wine delivered to their car. To another great adventure. They'd order lunch and they kept coming over and over again. All right, thank you. You're so welcome, Dennis. Appreciate it. They're here three to five times a week. They become like family. And then sometimes, oftentimes, they'd get out of the car, always dressed to the nines. Just ask Blue Water waitress Frances Martin. Honestly, it's just like happiness. It's like a ray of sunshine. They come in, they're smiling, they're dressed up. And they'd play some music on a speaker. Right there in the parking lot, Dennis and Linda Sheets would dance. Irresistibly, unapologetically, Linda and Dennis always put on a show. They are an event. They literally light the room up. I, they, they, yeah, there's no other way to say it, it's, as corny as it sounds. They, 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 they light the room up. <laughs> Day after day, month after month, they showed up to support Blue Water Bistro in a trying time. Each time dressed up, each time happy and meeting people, and always ready to sway in one another's arms in the parking lot ballroom. And then they would have a dance party in the parking lot here on the pier and do the waltz and the foxtrot and you know, the world was consumed by fear at that moment, so it brought this levity, this joy, and it was just rather um, profound. On one beautiful day, for the occasion of Dennis and Linda's 100th trip to Blue Water in 11 months, there was something special waiting for them, a party. They told us that, that Dennis and Linda were gonna be here, so I knew I needed to bring my fancy clothes. A band called the Swing Beats was brought in from Vegas to perform on the bed of a truck. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. A little romance, some glamour, right there on the lake, right when we needed it the most. In other words, hold my hand. It was a challenging year, there's no doubt about yep. that. Yep. But you got to make the best of it, the best of every single day. Some kids ran up because they couldn't resist the scene, and it didn't take long for Linda and Dennis to charm them the way they charm everybody. Oh yeah, everybody loves somebody. But there's something the king and queen of Blue Water Bistro didn't talk about that day at the party, something that explains it all, the clothes, the zest for life, the urgency with which they seek joy. I'm stage four metastatic breast cancer. I was diagnosed just before COVID hit. She says it's terminal. She's getting chemo, fighting for her life. My last heart attack, they called it the widow maker. And Dennis, well, Dennis has a bad ticker. A very small percentage of people survived that, but I did a really bad ticker. Uh, waiting to get on the heart transplant um, list. Um, and uh, I'm not excited about it, but if it happens, it happens. They know that tomorrow isn't promised to them or anyone else, but they also know that today, today can be fantastic. Live every moment, get out of your pajamas, put on a lovely, outfit or a gown. We take every day and make the best of it. And when they're done with their dancing and bedazzlement, 
they climb back into the 69 Caddy DeVille and drive away in the breeze to go wherever it is that they fight their private battles against the frailty of the human body, having just taught all of us a very public lesson about the resilience of the human spirit.